This is the day that I had been hoping for and waiting for and there finally is a Zootopia themed Disney Park Pack. The Park Pack 3.0 is the current official Disney pin subscription. I've been subscribed to it since around this time last year and so far I've always really enjoyed the pins but I think I've only kept one single pin out of all of my Park Packs because they just haven't really been things that I collect but this month is definitely things that I collect. Zootopia is my main pin collection. So these pins are definitely going to be keepers. These pin subscriptions always contain three limited edition 500 pins and each pin has three different variants. So in total there are 1500 park packs. Most of the time they are sold out, but check back periodically on the Shop Disney website and sometimes subscriptions will open up. It is around $50 a month so it's not super cheap, but considering they're Ali 500 pins, it's not too bad of a price. However, it's definitely been worth it for me sticking around with this subscription because it means I finally get something Zootopia. However, as you can see from the box, this is also like the worst in shape box I may have ever received. This flap is almost entirely torn off. So I'm hoping that the pins inside are still fine. This must have had a heck of a time getting here. So box was pretty easy to open up since it was almost all the way there. Like always, it comes with a fancy Disney tissue paper. Micah loves these to use as little cat beds to lay on. And then inside is the park pack box itself. It may seem a little bit squished, but overall is actually in pretty good condition. So how this always goes is there are three different pins and they're always in the same style. So the first pin is a pin on pin, the middle pin is a framed pin, and then the last pin is a stained glass pin. I'll know I'll be okay with whichever variant of the first pin I receive. The middle pin, there is definitely one variant that I want most and I think one variant that is definitely better than any of the others. And then the third pin, all the variants actually seem pretty cool. So I haven't yet decided which one of those I want most. There is only one way to find out and that's just to take off the lid and slowly reveal the pins. Alrighty, so, eh, you know, it's not bad. This is definitely not the variant I wanted, but still happy overall that it's Zootopia. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to actually look at the pins. So here are my three Zootopia Park Pack pins. First pin we have with Gazelle with the pin on pin. The middle pin, this is the Flash the Sloth variant. And then on the final pin, it has Judy's parents, which I love. And this pose looks like Judy running through the city. So here is our first pin with Gazelle, who is the pop star of the movie. She is the Shakira character. I love that they have a full Gazelle pin because I'm pretty sure there is only one other pin that has Gazelle on it and that's just from a booster set. So I definitely really like this pin. In the background on these translucent fill portions, you can see they look like they're her background dancers and all the variants have different colors of the background. And so I'm really happy with the colors of this one. I think they go super nicely. You can see the whole of Gazelle there is a pin on pin. And overall, this is a really awesome quality. This pin looks to be variant number three of three. Next up is our middle pin, which is always a sculpted frame pin. And I really love the design of this because it has the Zootopia logo on top, but then the rest of it is kind of like designed to be like the Zootopia cityscape representing the different districts. And so each picture inside is different between the variants. And this variant I have has Flash the Sloth on it. The other variants have Mr. Big. And then there is another variant that has Nick and Judy. And that's the one that I really wanted. So I'll have to see if I can trade this one possibly to get the Nick and Judy one. But I'd still say this one is probably preferable over the Mr. Big one. The back of this pin is super nice and crisp, and this variant is number two of three. And last up, we have our final stained glass pin. I love this pin so much because it has Judy's parents on it, which is totally awesome. Pretty sure this is the only pin you'll see them on. In the bottom, it's super cute. It says, you are now leaving Bunny Burrow. So I thought that this was actually purple stained glass, but that was just how it looked against the blue in the package. And so it's actually a pretty pink. This one shows a full grown Judy running through Zootopia, pursuing some crime. You know, the other variants have her as a little Judy Hops. And then there's another one that has her and Nick Wilde. So this is a cool Judy pin that also has her parents on it. 
It's always super tiny to read on the backs of these stained glass pins, but this one is pin number one of three. So these are my three Zootopia Park Pack pins. I definitely am a fan of these two pins. The flash pin, you know, it's all right. I wanted this one to be like the best, you know, Park Pack unboxing ever, because it was the best theme ever, and I wanted to have super awesome luck, but not always the case. Either way, love that there finally was a Zootopia Park Pack. And then this month, they actually kept it a total surprise. Normally, when they ship it, your account typically shows like a little teaser of what it's gonna be, but there was no teaser at all, and people were being super secretive when they received it. There would be like, pictures and comments, or PM me for pictures. So there was a lot of secrecy behind what the theme of this month was, but awesome theme. What I'm hoping for in the park pack is that before it ends, maybe there'll be an Emperor's New Groove theme, but I feel like they might go for something more popular like Beauty and the Beast instead. But for the remaining Park Pack months, which there are not many left, I'd really be interested to know if anyone has guesses on what the other themes will be, and then we'll see if anybody ended up being correct. But thanks for watching!